Man, I'm so glad these people are going out of business. And by these people, I mean Kotaku. They're just a click farm at this point. They got nothing useful to say, but they just post articles knowing that they are outraged people. Like, if you make a poll with the customers, right? Like the people who actually pay money for video games, you'll find that the overwhelming majority do not mind some sexiness in the video games. But then you have like the journalistic prudes, uh, the expansion of the Catholic Church, which are the modern progressive leftist journalists who uh, are saying that, oh my God, it's such a good thing. I mean, it's such a good thing. Look at this. Look at this. Sexually frustrated fans. I'm making a hentai video game just to spite these people. Like, it, it's such a dumb thing, right? Like, it gives this person hope, right? Ashley, Ashley Bardan cannot sleep at night because she thought that Resident Evil is going to have a character with a skirt. And now it's like this gives her hope, right? Like like one video game out of an entire market. A, a video game which is not even hentai, right? Like like you can you can go on Steam and you can play with games. Like it's not it's not something that's preventing people. Uh, but it gives her hope, right? Because her ideology manages to dominate a corporation. Because this is what it's all about. It's not about the skirt, right? Because at the end of the day, there's going to be mods. Okay? Like, I, I know you're a journalist and you don't understand gaming whatsoever. ever. Like, if it comes to gender studies and being a grandmaster in lesbian dance therapy, I'm pretty sure, like, uh, Ashley is numero uno. But when it comes to video games, they just don't understand. They do not comprehend what it's about. There are mods, all right? Like, I am willing to bet that less than one week after this game releases, you're, you're going to have all sorts of mods. Um, dressing, undressing characters, changing characters, changing their age, like, what, whatever you want. All right? So, so it's not about the skirt at all. It's just about, like, the fact that you think you speak on behalf of the market and you're gaslighting the issue, right? Like, like you promote a culture of ugliness. You're promoting a culture of body type A, body type B, where women have to look as unfeminine as possible, like in The Last of Us, with big hulking muscles, uh, massive jawlines, broad shoulders, make them really toxic, hyper-violent, hyper-masculine. This, this is like what the, the Western entertainment about video games is becoming. So you gotta go to Japan, you gotta go to the indie games, right? And, and it's because of people like this, which, again, like, I cannot wait until Kotaku goes bankrupt. Like, like the sooner, the better. Um, and, and what's also interesting, right? This is a conversation that also happened in the United States. Like, uh, back in the 90s, a lot of parents were complaining that teenage girls that were talking about maybe like 16, 15 year olds, right? They would go to school skimply clad. So, like, their parents would allow them to go with miniskirts. They, they would go very poorly dressed. And they were complaining that, oh, my God, it's distracting the boys. Right? Like, because back then they were promoting uh, the, the culture of abstinence. Right? No sex until you're married type of thing. It's, it's distracting the boys from learning. And of course the left was like... They can dress however they want. Right? And we're talking about real ish. Uh, but for some reason, right? Like that's about aesthetics. Right? Like that, That's about fashion. Like it's not about sex. It's about fashion. When, when a 15-year-old girl goes to school, okay, like fine. You know, like I, I'm taking... I'm ba bathing in the wisdom of morality from America. So if you have like a 15-year-old that wants to wear a skirt or whatever, that's about fashion. But if you have a video game where the character wants to wear a skirt, that is for masturbatory purposes. Do, do you see the problem, the inconsistency? And of course they will go, it's like, yeah, but like one is a real person, another uh, is an art. It's like, yeah, but like one is a real person, right? Like the, the woman chooses how she dresses. The other one is an artist. An artist which chooses how he draws or she draws or whatever, right? So like, I don't understand. Like, the same ideology, which is to hashtag free the nipple, like, that was actually a thing on Twitter back in the day, is the ideology, dress her the fuck up. And pump her full of testosterone, if you can. Sexually frustrated fans. You know what is sexually frustrated? It's just, like, eye-rolling. Like, you're censoring things that shouldn't be censored. Right? Uh, they were disappointing. Uh, they do not understand that there are plenty of websites that will show them exactly what they are looking for. No, we do understand that there will be mods. That will give people what they are looking for. But I was relieved. I want Resident Evil 4 remake changes to signal the better days of video game skirts and more broadly female character design. To migrate the explanation of gender fluid fashion in the world. See, like like they, they just can't enjoy a video game. 
Like, like that, that is no escapism. That is, that is no, like, fiction. No, 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 no. It's got, it's got to avoid the, the gender-fluid fashion. Motherfucker, fashion changes from year to year. All right? Like, if you want a game which is going to last for decades, right? Like a classic, like Resident Evil 4 used to be. You do not go into current trends. Like, imagine if I were to make a game in the early 2000s, and I'm like, what is popular? Dubstep. And you put dubstep into your game. Ten years from then, no one knows what the fuck you were talking. Like, what is that music? It's horrible. Because that's the thing when you go with trends. And it's the same with memes. Like, if I were to put memes in my video game, by the time the video game is out, most memes would lose relevancy. It's like putting the rufflecopter in your video game. No, you know, it, it doesn't work that years. So, like, just because now you're thinking, well, gender-fluid fashion. First of all, like, that may be a thing in California, yeah, but in the rest of the world, it isn't. Like, in Romania, we, we still have, like, very strict gender ideology. Like, the, there is a way that women dress, and they prefer to dress that way, right? And there is a way the men dress. And women prefer that men dress that way. Like, my wife wouldn't allow me to go out of the house with a skirt, right? So, so like... You are trying to use American imperialism on the rest of the world. Video game compared to the rest of humanities. Or, yeah, so, like, you, you're applying California yeah, to humanity. Like, people in Saudi Arabia do not share your lived experiences. People in China do not share your... People in India do not share, right? Like, you, you're, you're so fringe. You're so small. But anyway, so... Um, people have draped themselves in the swishy bottom where it says the dot of prehistory. And blah, blah, blah. I, I don't even know what the fuck she's going with, like, talking about prehistory. Uh, in many lives, the skirt has been caught and drawn in many ways. It's been long enough so that it leaves a structured trail, like a snail. It's been shortened, made asymmetrical. What the fuck does this have to do with Resident Evil? The first video game skirt appeared... Like, Jesus fucking Christ, I do the research when the first video game skirt appeared. Appeared on the first ever video game girls, all of whom were born in difficult circumstances, early 80s. Home consoles tried to compete with the booming arcade market. By creating girls to their mostly shitty games. These uh, slapdash but female-focused games included the 1984 Girls Garden, in which the protagonists wear a triangle-shaped creamy pink skirt. Man, like, wait, when you have video games that are literally just five pixels on the screen... How do you depict that the character happens to be female, Einstein? Like, how, how are you going to translate to the player? You got, like, a small cartridge, which has, like, maybe 500 kilobytes of memory, or God knows how small it was. And, and you got, like, only five pixels to create a character. How, how do you articulate to the audience that it's a woman? You do it non-binary, right? Oh, my fucking God. No, these journalists, they, like, you, you can't help them. Like, you can't help them. They're, they're beyond help. They don't know what the fuck they're writing. You know, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think, though. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.